The DSC syringe plunger should be replaced at least every 10,000 strokes. You also want to replace the injection plunger if you see obvious corrosion around the lower black area or the lower white area of the piston. Also, if you see leakage between the plunger and the glass. You need appropriate personal protective equipment depending on hazardous materials you may have used in your experiments. To remove the syringe, you first have to get it in the appropriate position. So you first press F1 on the console of the auto sampler, and then F1 again to change syringe. The syringe will then move uh, to a position where you'll be able to remove it. And you open up the sliding door to access it. So to remove the syringe, you first have to loosen the upper red retaining nut, loosen it completely. And you can see the plunger is moving down. And when the nut is fully loosened, you then move the syringe plunger all the way down. And now you want to remove the syringe using this blue adapter. It's held on to the injection system by very tight magnets, so you want to be sure you pull very tightly. But you also want to be careful not to bend the syringe at the bottom, and then lift it up and pull it out of the holder. After you remove the syringe assembly from the auto sampler, lie the system down on a flat surface and move the holder and remove the syringe. If you are just replacing the plunger, take the plunger out, loosen the holder at the top, replace it with a new plunger, tighten the nut, insert into the syringe. You want to keep about 20% of the plunger at the top. Reinsert into the holder, and you're all set to reinsert into the auto sampler. To insert the syringe assembly, Enter it at an angle, guide the needle through the upper guide, and then the lower, and it will snap into place by the magnets. And finally, lift up the plunger, and then tighten the retaining nut at the top. After the syringe has been inserted, press the enter button on the console and then press the home button. The plunger will then move down until it hits the mechanical stop. This position is stored as the syringe's zero volume position and then the injection unit returns to its home position. And please note after replacing a syringe always check the needle penetration in the valve and make sure you lower the screen after this is completed.